This foot is sore and it's gonna get graphics. If you don't like that, turn off. And that's not like a little petty warning, that is 100% gospel truth. This is the Hoof GP. This one is gonna be a little different, folks. I'm not gonna narrate the first part of this video. Then we'll rewind it and I will narrate the whole video. So stick around for both parts and see if you have the same thoughts about this foot as I do. And that folks brings us to the end of the trim, so let's rewind the whole of this tape all the way back to the beginning and go through it with a bit of narration this time. Let me know in the comments exactly how your thoughts compared with mine. Did you know what this was and did you come up with the same idea of how to heal it? So clearly this cow is extremely lame and this is exactly the condition I found this foot when I picked it up. I haven't touched it in the slightest. Unfortunately, she was already bleeding when she entered the crush. We give it a quick clean off and a wipe with some blue rolls so that we can analyse the situation a little more clearly. And then we get to work with a knife. I'm going to work my way around this lesion as carefully as I possibly can to thin out the margins. That is, thinning out the sharp and harsh edges round about this digital dermatitis lesion to help it start to recover. I'm doing everything I possibly can not to touch or put any pressure on this open lesion. Even the slightest contact will make it bleed even more and put this cow in more pain than she needs to be. But I need to make sure I get every shred of detached or sharp horn away from this lesion. I'm going to use the grinder on this foot now, so I protect it by covering it with blue roll. I'm using the grinder to make sure that, that inner claw is as flat and level as possible and has a good surface for the bovie bond to do its magic. I also reduce the height of the outside claw to take as much weight off that as possible. We're going to apply two blocks to this cow's foot and that's simply to keep it up out of the dirt as much as possible. We need this lesion to remain as clean as possible in a very dirty environment. Digital dermatitis is made up of the spirochete bacteria and basically they are worm shaped and they corkscrew into the cow's flesh causing huge pain and damage. We don't often use double height blocks but it can be very beneficial for the cow 
It'll relieve the pain by making sure it's not in contact with the ground at all, and it'll also keep it more dry. And a dry environment is good for healing a dermatitis lesion. She had a crack up the dorsal wall, so I'd trim it out with my grinder before soaking the whole area in iodine. The iodine will help to kill that outer layer of skin and hopefully kill the digital dermatitis with it. But we also need a salicylic wrap to do its magic. And after a week or so, we'll return to see how this cow's doing. I, for one, have high hopes.